Nature's artistry shines through, in the intricate faces of crystals. For centuries, these captivating forms have mesmerized humans. Take the ancient Greeks, who, around 400 BC, stumbled upon quartz crystals in the Alps, their flat surfaces glinting like frozen water. Misled by their brilliance, they called them, crustolos, meaning, clear ice. But the story goes deeper. As understanding evolved, scientists realized, these dazzling shapes held a hidden secret. A precise arrangement of atoms within, an internal structure, as mesmerizing as the outer form. Crystals, it turned out, were more than just pretty faces. They were organized masterpieces of nature. This journey from fascination to scientific understanding is what crystallography is all about. It's about unraveling the hidden order, that governs their formation, properties, and dazzling beauty. The unique characteristics of crystals become powerful tools, for identifying the vast variety of minerals on Earth. This fascinating science, known as crystallography, delves into the secrets hidden within crystals. But before we delve deeper, let's first explore some key terms that describe how crystals appear in form. Imagine a crystal's overall shape, like a cube, a pyramid, or a long, thin, prism. That's its habit, which is a unique style influenced by the environment, where it grew. Think of it like snowflakes, each taking on a different form, depending on the temperature, and humidity. Just like that, the surrounding conditions during crystallization, can shape a crystal into a cube, an octahedron, or even a needle-like form. A mineral doesn't have just one appearance. It can take on various outfits, based on its location of formation. Now, let us discuss about crystal forms. Think of a crystal's form as its unique fingerprint, made up of flat surfaces called faces. These faces aren't randomly arranged, but instead follow a specific pattern, based on the crystal's internal symmetry. Scientists use fancy notations like Miller Index, to decode this symmetry, but for now, remember, it's like each crystal having its own special arrangement of faces. But how do these crystals come to be? They can form in different ways, either by solidifying from hot gases or liquids, or by slowly growing from solutions. No matter how they form, crystals are like miniature geometric worlds, each face perfectly placed to create the beautiful shapes we see. We know that, atoms inside a material can be arranged in a neat, orderly way. Well, when these atoms line up just right, forming a repeating pattern, a crystal is born. Crystals are special solids, with flat, smooth surfaces called faces, like tiny windows revealing the hidden order within. But what truly defines a crystal? It's not just the outer look, it's the hidden symphony of atoms inside. Imagine rows of atoms, marching in perfect formation, creating a blueprint for the entire crystal. This internal structure, sets crystals apart from other materials, influencing their properties, and making them easily identifiable. Think of a diamond, glistening with light. Its internal arrangement of carbon atoms makes it incredibly strong and sparkly. On the other hand, salt crystals, with their cube-like shapes, reveal a different atomic arrangement, resulting in their unique salty taste and solubility. So, what exactly is a crystal? According to scientists, it's a uniform solid with naturally formed flat surfaces, that reflect its internal atomic arrangement. This definition may seem complex, but the key elements are outlined here. By understanding these key features, we unlock the door to understanding the fascinating world of crystals, and their endless diversity. Here are the features of the crystals, which set them apart. Crystals are shaped by flat surfaces called faces, which act like windows, revealing a hidden world within. These faces reflect a deeper secret, a regular arrangement of atoms inside, like tiny Lego bricks, perfectly organized. This internal order is what truly defines a crystal. Crystals love to take their time forming, like a delicious cake, cooling slowly in the oven. This slow growth allows their atoms to arrange themselves in a well-defined geometry, creating the beautiful shapes we admire. Like a delicious cake, creating a perfect crystal requires the right conditions. 
A crystal that has both external form and internal atomic structure, is considered a perfect crystal. Slow cooling allows atoms to arrange themselves meticulously, resulting in well-developed forms. But sometimes, faster processes might lead to simpler shapes. Some materials might have the internal atomic structure of a crystal, but lack the well-defined external form. We call these crystalline, even though they don't look like the classic crystal, we imagine. When neither the internal atomic structure, nor external form is present, it is classified as an amorphous substance. Here we can think of liquids or gels, their structures constantly shifting and shapeless. Thus, a naturally occurring crystal must include, a regular geometric form, and a characteristic internal atomic structure. If a model of a crystal is constructed out of glass, plastic or wood, it cannot be considered as a crystal, as the required atomic structure will not be present there. It is only a crystal model displaying outer faces. Let us take the example of a diamond. You might have seen imitations of diamonds, which despite their complete resemblance to the original, lack optical and physical properties, and internal atomic structures unique to diamonds. Therefore, imitation diamonds cannot be considered as naturally occurring crystals. This is just the beginning of our crystal exploration. Stay tuned for further adventures where we'll delve deeper into the amazing world of crystal systems, symmetry, and how this science unravels the secrets of materials around us. Thanks for joining, and don't forget to like and subscribe, for more crystal clear science.